massive, massive year. One of them years where I should get it tattooed on across my chest or somewhere like that. <laughs> Probably the best year so far. You know, winning the world title at Ellen Road. Like a dream, dream come true. Straight into a defence with you know, Carl Frampton, regarded one of the best you know, super bantam slash featherweights to come out of, uh, of, this, of this country. But not only that, we're you know, a, a few personal things outside life, you know, the, the baby girls being born, I keep banging on about that, but they changed my life, they really have. Um, you know, twin girls and, you know, we had the film come out after three years of filming that, that finally premiered. You know, Universal Studios had bought it, so that were, that were pretty big and, uh, you know, we left, me and Natasha left our you know, first little home together and we, we got a new house and it's like a new family home now, so it was quite an eventful year, it was 2018. The fight with Selby, it was, a, it was a long old camp. I remember being back in the gym about two weeks after Ceylon. You know, they let me motion out at the end and uh, said, a, said a few things to camera. Where are you, Selby, you Come on! Trained over Christmas, trained from like Christmas up to around February. When my, when my babies were born. And then uh, I had a week, a week off just to spend with them. And, you know, most working fathers have like a two week paternity. I had a week, you know, and uh, it was hard, obviously. Two babies is, you know, not just one, two babies. You know, our first, poor Natasha, she was like a single mother, you know, having to take care of them. She was recovering from, um, from obviously giving birth, she, you know, cesarean, so. That were difficult for her, but I had to make it. I had to make it worth it, and that was a, a motivation. It was a drive to to to, to get out and, and give everything I've got in the gym. No, yeah. 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 it was meant to be, and when I walked into into the stadium on that day, I felt like. God, I really did it with just an overwhelming feeling what I had, you know, come over me. I'm going out and have a little look from the tunnel, looking out to the ring and looking around and, you know, a few folks spotted us like, you, you know, you're on it, Josh, you know, giving them thumbs up and stuff like that. But um, I felt invincible that day, honestly. I just everything about the change rooms, it was, all, it was all relaxed, all laughs. I mean, going out for the biggest fight in my life, you know, 20 odd thousand there, Kaiser Chiefs, my boy Odero, Lucas Radimir stood behind me and we're laughing and joking in tunnel. Laughing and joking and I should be I should be nervous, should have been really in another world, but I felt like I'd seen it all before. I felt like I'd seen it all before and I just soaked in everything, soaked in the ring walk, got in the ring, I soaked in you know the atmosphere from all sides and uh, and it ended up being a good fight as well. Oh good shot from Warrington! Left hand on the right hand to the head of Selby. Warrington inspired right now. Tremendous fight. And Josh Warrington raises his arms a lot. And I think Lee Selby knows it. That's off to Lee. We, we, uh, we had a, a lot of words exchanged prior for a long time. But once the fight's done, it's done. You know, with 12 rounds of exchange of blows with each other. Yeah, it's done for me there, so um, you know, shook hands and in a, in a bit of a, I don't know, that was the last time I really spoke to Lee, but you know, that, that chapter was closed. Like I said, you string it out, do you go defending your title, like have a few steady defences like most most champions do. Got offered the, the Carl Hampton fight, obviously he were chomping at the bit to, to become champion again. Obviously, I think he would have liked to fight me at Windsor Park, but it probably wasn't doable with me coming off the, the Selby fight. And I wanted to spend a bit of time with my kids as well, just be, just be a dad and the World Cup as well. And <laughs> my celebrations kind of rolled into World Cup celebrations. Carl got the jo job done at Windsor against Luke Jackson and uh, it was set then. That's what a champion has to do, you know. And I, I fell towards the Frampton fight, like, Another motivation of my more. I didn't want to be a flash in the pan. I didn't want to be someone who's just won the world title because he's beat a champion on his bad night. You know, you, you are an established champion when you when you defend your belt. 
and when you defend it against a decent level, you know, fighter in Carl Thompson, that's what like got me up for it. Oh, good hell, I'm going in here against like Carl Thompson, and even though the performance had done well, Lee Selby, people were still saying, oh, well, there's another level, there's another level. I kept saying that one, there's another level. When it comes to come to Frampton, he's the elite, elite, elite level. <laughs> you know, you you might be a world champion, but you're not at that level, Josh. But again, it was no pressure then, and uh, and again another great occasion, massive build up, um, lots of press conferences and whatnot, and then you know the one of the best atmospheres that you know besides Leeds that the, the boxed in front of, you know that's something what stay with me stood on the ramp and like half at you know Manchester Arena singing Carl's name I think Manchester and he's singing my name and uh, and throughout the fight you know there were pockets of Carl's fans singing and shouting pockets of my fans going quiet and then singing and it were it were like that back and forth love to have a rematch with them because I really enjoyed that first one it sounds a bit weird but I did enjoy it and we had a, we had a good old scrap and um, I wanted to do that for a long time I wanted because I that's always in my locker I know I've got that he's holding on again Frampton's in trouble. Is he going to go? Warrington thinks he is. He's trying to take him out here in the second. And Frampton's on stiff legs. Another big left hand from Warrington. A lot of times I go to the fights and I just do what I have to do to win. Um, but I've been wanting to let that out for a long time and I've, I've got to let it out against Carl. And uh, <clears throat> if, listen, if he wins a, another world title, then what a rematch that is. Carl is all of a character, an hell of a person, and uh, I think he, I think he's shown that not just throughout the build-up, but after the fight as well. We came in and we had a, we had a bit of a chat. I want to win another world title. I want to, I want to try uh, unify or win as many titles as I can um, before, you know, I go back to Carl. If I could pick any any of them three big names to win 2019, then I think it'd be Leo Santa Cruz, you know, straight in at the top. I think he's the biggest name, the biggest profile of the division. Um, Gary Russell Jr. Is a, is a great champion, and so, so is Oscar Valdez, but Leo Santa Cruz is ranked number one in most of you know, the, the, the rankings. And Ring Magazine rankings have got him number one. I'm ranked number two, like I say, you fight one and two fight each other, then the, rank, the Ring Magazine belts up for grabs. Um, so yeah, I think he's the one that I'd like to, I'd like to fight. We've got you know, Barry as the mandatory challenge. You know, I've got to, I'm obligated to fight him. I've set this out on unifying the division now. That's what I want to do. Ring magazine belt, win another title, and fight one of the you know the other three big names. Over two years, you know, it'll have been. No, but top level, top level names, you know, like Selby, Frampton, you know, Gallard, if you want to consider him there, but he's, he's there, isn't he? Um, and, and Santa Cruz, you know, we, we want to fight in the best. And if we could go into next year, I'd, I'd apply my next one against Valdez or Russell. And that's how we're at, have it, you know, as a champion, you want to prove that you are the best, the outright best. And that's the only way to do that is to, to fight the best, isn't it?